Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to upgrade your MacBook Pro 2012 and previous editions. So the first thing you're going to need is an SSD, USB flash drive that's greater than 8GB and 16GB of RAM. The links for all of these will be in the description below. So the first step is to create a bootable installer on our USB stick. And so we're going to begin by plugging this in into our MacBook. And so now go ahead and search for disk utility. And what we want to do is erase anything that is on the USB drive. And so now I'm going to go and click erase. I'm going to name it installer. And we're going to format it to Mac OS extended journal. Then go and click on erase. And once it is finished, uh, we can check that it is empty and make sure that there's nothing important on this. To actually install the macOS software on our drive, we need to go to this website, which will be linked below in the description. And once we scroll down, make sure to get the software that is actually supported by your MacBook. For me, it is Catalina, since I have the mid-2012 MacBook Pro. And also, it is important to click on these links through Safari and not another web browser, because then it will not work. Anyways, now click on Get, and then Download. And once it is finished, uh, go ahead and exit out of everything and go back to Safari. We now need to put macOS on our drive. Doing so is fairly simple. Go to this website and before you do that actually you need to uh, quit the installer and then copy the line of text that relates to the software that you downloaded for your MacBook. So now search for terminal and once the window pops up paste the text that you copied here and the final step is to change the last part of this to the name of your USB drive. So mine was called installer. When I erased it and click enter, type in your password. This should take a while, but once it is finished, it will say ready and available. We are done with the software side of things. Now let's actually upgrade our MacBook. Begin by shutting down and flipping the MacBook on its side. Then start unscrewing. This part should be pretty straightforward. And once everything is unscrewed, Gently lift the back cover. So I'm just going to use a screwdriver, but try not to use this or just just be careful with it. Up next, we do need to disconnect the battery. Once it is disconnected, we need to take out the hard drive. It has two screws holding it in place and another four that we need to take out from the hard drive itself. When lifting the hard drive, do be careful because there is a thin SATA cable connected to it, which is very important. Disconnect it by pulling it by the head of the cable. To take out these four, you need a T6 screwdriver, which I will link below. After taking out these screws, transfer them over to the SSD. Then connect the SATA cable and screw the SSD into place. Moving forward, we will now replace the RAM. To take it out, push down hard on the sides where there should be two small levers. Then gently slide the two pieces of RAM out and place the new sticks in. This time, make sure to slide in and then push down. You should hear a click. Finally, connect the battery again and then place the cover back and screw everything back into place. Once you are done, flip the MacBook Pro over and place the USB inside. Then hold Alt and press the power button. This window should pop up. Click on Install Mac OS. After it is done loading, click on Disk Utility and then go to Samsung SSD and you want to erase so this is just to make sure that everything gets formatted correctly. So name this anything you want. I'm going to name it SSD and then click erase. Click done. And we should see that everything has been formatted correctly to the name of your liking. Now close this window and install Mac OS. Click continue. So this will say Mac OS Mojave, but do not worry. This is only because I recorded this a while ago. Anyways, follow the instructions and now click on the SSD. That's where we'll be installing the Mac OS software. And after a few minutes, it will be ready to go. So do the setup and once you're finished, this is what your screen should look like. So I'm gonna open Safari here just to show you guys that everything is working. And there we go. And if we go to about this Mac, it does say 16 gigabytes of RAM and on storage, it will say SSD. Once again, mine should say Catalina, but since I recorded this earlier, it says Mojave. Anyways, guys, that's pretty much it. Hope you have a good time. Peace out.